Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 7th to October 13th, 2019. And just bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we are going to uh, jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week Libra is going to be the Page of uh, Cups. Followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, we do have the World card. Then it is the positive aspect of your week that is going to be uh, the uh, King of Cups for what it seems, yeah. And then the last one which stands for the guidance that Saro is offering to you. Uh, <clears throat> that is going to be the Six of uh, Cups. So before we go and uh, scrutinize the reading here, uh, let's run the cards one more time. So the topic, the general theme, is going to be the Page of Cups, followed by the next one, which stands as a challenge here. We do have the World card. Afterwards, it is the King of Cups, which represents the uh, positive aspect of the week. And then the last one, that is going to be the Six of Cups, which stands for the Guidance. All right, great. So, um, Page of Cups, it will be catalyzed by the Ace of Cups. Man, I mean, so much of an emotions. I mean, really, really deep one is what we do have here. And it's one of these people that very quickly gets attached, all right? They, they very quickly gets they very quickly fall in love. And um, this is usually a very uh, self-absorbed and as well, what was the word I was searching for? A, um, a graceful person, all right? They do attract, they do radiate with, um, with fragility, if you want to say it that way. I mean, when you see that person, you're, see, you're going to see how gentle they are, how good they are as well, and how... Um, they do have manners, they do have uh, that uh, kindness, okay? It's, it's just, it, it radiates from them. And uh, the, the, the knee slapper here, especially with the Ace of Cups next to it, we do have a passive uh, supporters. It is that they cannot be not emotional, they cannot be um, um, unemotionally attached. They need to be attached to someone emotionally. They need to love, all right? They, they just need to do that. They, they can't live without it. So those who are single, well, I, congratulations. It's just someone is gonna fall in love with you for what it seems here with, uh, with these cards. That could be as well a child, to be honest, with the page uh, of cups. And uh, a child is gonna fall in love with you, I'm, or, or at least you are gonna be a weakness of them, if you, if you know what, I, what I'm saying. But the thing is that, when this person appears for you, it's going to seriously make you 
uh, reconsider uh, your overview for the future in general. I mean, it's gonna make you uh, understand how meaningless the, the minor details are, and, and, and the, in general, the uh, these obstacles that you are finding along the path, which are a part of everybody's routine, you know, how unsubstantial they are in general. And that will allow you to attend more to the overview, which the page takes place at, okay? And uh, for example, you may plan to adopt a child and th then that means that this week you're going to find the child you want to adopt, right? You're just going to fall in love with it. But that is just an example. Let's not get carried away here. The thing it is that this person is going to bring so much contentment in your life, so much love, so much joy that the worries that you do have up until now and that you're tormenting yourself with them they, they will no longer gonna gonna matter at all they, they will be irrelevant they they are going to be meaningless as well and uh, it seems that uh, this is going to be the the change bringer i mean the, the page of cups it's going to happen slow though i mean it, it will take a lot of time you know um, kind of like attending to one another and spending time with each other as well because this process of critical self-assessment and and repositioning yourself so you can um, you can be more attentive to the overview rather than to the minor details. In other words, to get prepared for the change that loom that is looming on the horizon takes time. And also you need to allow this this overflowing love. I mean, it's it's kind of like, a, I can't even begin to tell you, I stress it here, can't stress you enough for you to understand the level of, 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 of love that they're going to be around you guys. And it will be real shame if you don't, allow it to get in okay so yeah it's i'm kind of speechless with these two cards they rarely came up together but when they come up together it's just you lose your mind over someone and the good thing is it is mutual here it's what we're talking about it will be something that just flows i mean these emotions are just gonna flow in between you and that person as well and uh, the world suddenly will become pink. I mean, if up until now your world was completely grey, deprived from everything enjoyable, ever, anything um, exciting, well, it seems it's going to be dappled with colours once again when the Page of Cups enters your life in this week, October 7th to October 13th, 2019. All right, so next one, it is the uh, challenges that you need to overcome. We do have the World card and it's going to be catalyzed with the Eight of Cups and these cards are representing the burdens from the past. Like said with the page, you cannot be with the page if you are not attending to the overview meaning to the future. Therefore, you cannot bring uh, burdens and you cannot carry uh, unnecessary, how can I say it, a, uh, unnecessary things, I will name them, from the past, okay? So the challenge here is going to be you settling your things around. That does not involve the page of cups. Settle a old relationships that haven't been closed now, right? Settle deal, settle dispute, settle anything you can. It's going to be challenging. Maybe you will have to settle for more that if you prolong it into the future, if you stall it into the future, you can get, but you're going to lose the page. And according to these cards, it's just not worth it. It doesn't worth it at all, all right? Because these two cards here point, should you be able to settle your stuff around as much as you can, those that are not related to the page, but are still appearing as a burden to you, then um, a much greater and brighter perspective, it's, it's in front of you. I mean, you're going to reach a peak of experience, culmination of one's chapter in life, and then a, that new perspective, new life, new chapter in life. It's, it's going to be open. A chapter that you and the Page of Cups are going to be, are going to play the main roles. And for what it seems, it's not going to be a horror movie this time, guys. It's not going to be a drama this time around. It's going to be a, a, a romance type of, uh, of movie. Okay. And so uh, the next one, it regards to the um, 
positive aspect of the week for you. We do have uh, the King of Cups here. Just one second to see if my camera is recording because my my watch doesn't show it. Yeah, it is recording. All right. So um, we do have the King of Cups and it is accompanied by the full car. Yeah, I, I do suspect that with the world, but it was not definitive. So we do have a um, active, uh, passive, excuse me, passive neutrals. So what the King is going to urge you here, we do have another person, but this one, it is a professional person, like a solicitor, like a lawyer, like a medical doctor, you know, someone that kind of have a, an attitude toward that situation in between you and the page and this person is going to give you very very good advice as well he's going to offer you the help you require to uh, settle your things around like we saw in the challenges and as well to maximize the benefits and also guide you throughout you know the redirections that you're going to take in order to fit well with the page but the thing is that it's not it's he that person i'm saying he because it's a king but it could be also a woman it's going to advise you not to rush it through all right i mean it's going to advise you that that new beginning it is yours no matter what unless you know you don't screw around i mean the page is going to wait for you as long as it can or as long as it as long as it needs to should the page see that you're doing a um how can i say you're making attempts or rather like you're working over to to be together let's say it that way okay and meantime the uh the king of uh, the king of cups is going to encourage you to uh we call it to secure your pants in our country it is like especially if this is in regards to marriage right it's kind of like a pre-deal for the marriage i don't know uh, someone told me how it's called but i don't i don't i can't revoke it right now um and uh yeah something like a pre-deal of uh, the marriage should the divorce happen further into the future or should the things go sour you know you do have something to back you up okay and uh, it seems is he uh, like i said a professional guy or a, or a girl and uh, they do understand the real dynamic of that situation and they can really uh, help you to get those or to make those balanced decisions in a way that um, uh, no one is going to be hurt neither you nor the page of cups as well and uh, the last card that we do have oh and one more thing it is what this person is going to guide you through it is that the time of being irresponsible and uh, pretending that you don't care should be over i mean the page wants to see that you do care all right it just wants to see that you do give a damn so the last one it is the guidance here and we do have the six of cups accompanied with the two of cups well, they, they cannot be more uh, more exact. Again, we're talking about a um, a love, and that is not this love that comes a uh, time uh, it comes you know step by step. This is this um, teenager teenage kind of love, all right? That that makes you feel the butterflies in the stomach, that saps your knees when you see the person you are interested in, all right? But also as a guidance. These cards here, guys, are urging you to put your shyness and your pride on the shelf, all right? Show uh, solidarity toward the Page of Cups. So show compassion, show a, a readiness to do something together, to work in team, if you want to say it that way, to unite, right? It is very, very important. And also these cards here are pointing that you also need to show uh, how, how big your attachment is, physically and emotionally as well so in other words if you see the page and you you like how they're dressed you know and how they look you should make a compliment and it is not really a compliment in this case but it is the truth all right so uh libra this was uh, your uh, weekly tarot reading for october 8 uh 7th excuse me to october 13 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys i sure do i hope that scorpio is gonna have something like that which is the next star, the next star sign and we're going to see each other around until then bye